doubt that maybe some of you that are watching who maybe don't have any type of Mexican ancestry or know any type of uh, Mexican music or any other type of world music, you will fall in love with some certain style, some certain music from a certain culture, and that will help you to be more motivated to learn your instrument. Because guess what? All those notes that you're learning how to read in uh, your music class are universal. So you can pick up another instrument, learn how to play it, and learn how to read those notes and be able to play all kinds of music from all over the world. And that is what I want to transmit to you, a love for music. Hello, my name is Jonathan Valverde, and I'm the new instrumental music teacher here at Robert Down and Forest Grove Elementary School. So I'd like to tell you how I began playing music and eventually became a music teacher. When I was in elementary school, I, like many of you, learned how to play the recorder, I believe in fourth grade. But before that, I began playing the piano and just picking up songs here and there because my dad was also a piano player. He also plays the trumpet, the guitar, and the drums, and the bass as well. But I really liked the piano and I liked to sing, so I began singing and playing the piano. And when it came time to pick an instrument, we had a trumpet already at our house. So I decided to go ahead and begin playing the trumpet in fifth grade, and I was hey, pretty good. I practiced a lot, and I just really, really enjoyed the sound of the trumpet. And I won't play it for you here because I have some neighbors upstairs that might get upset. When I began college, I realized that I wanted to become a music teacher. And when you're in college, you have to choose one primary instrument. Although you do learn how to play all the other instruments proficiently to be able to teach kids how to play those instruments when you're in a band. Even though I played trumpet and I was pretty good at it, I decided that I wanted my principal instrument to be my voice. I took all the classes that I needed and I also took methods classes for different instruments that you'll be learning in my classroom. Of course, you'll be learning how to play the trumpet. Uh, you will also be learning how to play if you choose to play the flute, the flute had it the wrong way, but here's the flute. And you will also have a chance to learn how to play the clarinet. The saxophone, this is a pretty old saxophone that my friend let me borrow. And so here is a saxophone. And we also have a string class that we will be learning how, you'll be learning how to play the violin, the violin and the bow is here also. So you'll be learning how to play violin. And you'll be also learning how to play the cello. And it is in the case. I'll get that out for you just in a second. You'll also have a chance to learn how to play the viola, which is a little bit larger than a violin and it has a deeper, a little bit deeper sound and it has a different function in the orchestra as well. You also have a chance to learn how to play the bass, also percussion. My goal for the fifth grade instrumental music program is to introduce you to all these wonderful instruments and to teach you the fundamentals that you will need to go further in your music uh, learning process. And if it turns into a music career, that is amazing. You'll learn how to read music, You'll learn rhythm, you'll learn tempo, you'll learn fingerings, you'll learn bowing, you'll learn tone, you'll learn how to play together in a group, and you will also have a chance to learn about world music, which is one of my favorite subjects. And this is why I love world music. I am a mariachi singer as well. I also play the trumpet in the mariachi band, but I don't have the trumpet with me right now. But I want to be able to share with you all different types of music, not just Western uh, classical music, but regional music from Mexico, where I, my ancestors are from, as well as other music that I've grown to love over the years that are not part of my culture, but that I have adopted into my life because it is just beautiful music. Some of you may think that I began playing mariachi music when I was a little kid, but the truth is that I didn't really know much about mariachi music when I was a little kid. However, when I was a teenager, I was very intrigued by a friend of mine who had 12 kids who played in a mariachi band. 
And as a result, I made friends with some of them. And I said, you know what? I'd like to try to sing mariachi just for fun one time. And I sang a mariachi song in Mexico just for some friends. And I found that I loved it and I was actually really good at it. So I have no doubt that maybe some of you that are watching who maybe don't have any type of Mexican ancestry or know any type of uh, Mexican music or any other type of world music, you will fall in love with some certain style, some certain music from a certain culture, and that will help you to be more motivated to learn your instrument. Because guess what? All those notes that you're learning how to read in uh, your music class are universal. So you can pick up another instrument, learn how to play it, and learn how to read those notes and be able to play all kinds of music from all over the world. And that is what I want to transmit to you, a love for music. So when you go to middle school, you can continue playing music. When you go to high school, you can continue playing music. And guess what? Don't quit because not only is music fun and fills you with so much joy, but guess what? You can make some good money being a musician. Maybe you're not gonna do that as a career, but hey, you wanna make some extra money? I have a friend, shout out to John Nava from the Latin Music uh, Jazz Collective, uh, Latin Jazz Collective here in Monterey. We grew up together playing in our church, him playing the saxophone and I playing the trumpet. And eventually he started playing the uh, bongos and congas and different percussion instruments. And he is really good at it. And guess what? He has his regular job, but he also makes good money and has so much fun and makes new friends every week with different bands aside from his own band. So guess what? Some of my friends in San Diego, all they do is mariachi and guess what? They make 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks an hour having fun with their friends, bringing joy to people's lives. And guess what? That can be you too. I want to share with you a few little clips of myself singing mariachi music just to inspire you and so you can see if you can recognize some of the instruments that you can learn how to play in our instrumental music class. All right, so let's see if you can guess which ones they are.
If you saw violins, you are correct. If you saw a trumpet or two, you are correct as well. So those are two instruments that you can learn in our band and orchestra class. So what happens next? What you are going to do is have your parents write to J Valverde. J V A L V E R D E at pgust.org and say, Hello, Mr. Valverde. We really liked your video and we really want to learn how to, my child really wants to learn how to play the trumpet or the saxophone or the flute or the violin or the clarinet or the trombone or what else do we forget? Do we forget anything else? Um, the cello, the viola or the bass or percussion instruments. Or if there's another instrument you'd like to learn, please tell me in that email. And I will look at all those emails and say, okay, okay, okay. This person wants to be in this class, this one wants to be in that class, this one wants to be in this class, and that class, and that class, and that class, and that class. And if you don't know yet, if you're like, oh, I don't know, I really like two or three different instruments, well, guess what? Pick one and join that class. I'll put you in a class. There'll be four different groups. We'll put you in a group, and for the first two or three weeks, you are not going to be using an instrument yet because we're going to be going over different musical concepts. Uh, such as music reading and writing and refreshing your memory on some of the things you learned last year or if you weren't here last year then some new musical concepts that are very foundational and fundamental before we can hand you an instrument. Just pick one for now and sign up, uh, send that email and the next step that you do is you call, call Bookmark Music in Pacific Grove uh, if you need help renting an instrument, you talk to the school and we will help you. We are working on getting more instruments in our school, but for now, that is the most efficient way to begin our music, instrumental music class. By you, number one, saying, Mom, Dad, I really want to learn how to play this instrument. Okay, son. Okay, let's go. Let's talk to Mr. Valverde. Hello, Mr. Valverde. We really like your video. We want to, know, we want to sign up for a uh, flute class. And then I'll say, okay, great. What is your student's name? Oh, my student's name is blah, 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 blah. And we'll take it from there. Step two is you will call book Mark say, Music. Hello, my child wants to learn how to play this instrument. What can we do to rent an instrument and how much will it cost? And if it's a little expensive for you, that's okay we will help you figure it out, right? So those are the basic steps that you will need to take to sign up for my class and have a wonderful time this year learning how to play music and developing that love and those basic skills that you will need to play an instrument, hopefully for the rest of your life. Thank you so much.